Welcome to the first ever Zilla game. This is gonna be kind of just a random type of video. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this. But we start off by uh, getting the sword. It's gonna be kind of like... Uh, it's not gonna be like uh, my usual videos where I... You know, do the uh, commentary while playing it. This is more of me just randomly playing it. So as you see here, we're now on level 1, dungeon 1. As there is no such thing as an order of where you should do it, but I'm trying to do the order as much as possible. And the reason why it also is so uh, short of a video is because of the fact that uh, this game is like the shortest mainline Zelda game. Uh, hour length, or game length, game, game way, or gameplay wise. And also because my recording software kept uh, bugging out while I was doing this, so half of the recording is kind of missing uh, for the dungeon, so. So we got our first piece of the Triforce. As back in the day, you would just only know it as triangles. Especially if you did it my way, where, you know, you didn't even get to that level. So we're on level 3. We skipped to level 2, and we later go back to level 2, but apparently I didn't record it. Unless this is what's gonna be the next- no, okay, I was- I was about to hate myself for that. But we, we do eventually get to level 2. So we went from 1 to 3 to back to 2. As luckily there, we took- took damage, but at the moment I took damage, he uh, sprouted a heart, so we got a heart back. And now we're doing with, uh, Zandango, I think it was? A character from uh, Ocarina of Time, they used him in Ocarina of Time. Same tactic, too. And now I found the Master Sword. This was actually weird, because I just randomly walked up to this cave and I just found the Master Sword for some reason. And I was just trying to head to the uh, next dungeon. I was looking the wrong way and I went down that cave thinking maybe it would sprout me out somewhere and we got the Master Sword. It's not that things will be easier, in a way. And this is the dungeon that I didn't record a boss battle for some reason. I don't know what happened there. But we do beat level 4, so we go on to level 5, and we find... Well, I'm gonna be calling the equivalent of an ocarina. Now this guy has a key on him, now we gotta kill the guy with the key on. In the complete darkness. And then we use that whistle, or clarinet, or whatever, and... Uh, make this guy smaller, and I thought, it would, you know, it would make him even more smaller, and kill him. But, you know, that, that works too. Look at the fifth piece of the Triforce. We killed that boss, the Eye Boss, Goma, for level 6. And then we come up to level 7. I know this is really quick. I, I already explained this before why it was so quick. We killed the Dragon Guy again. <laughs> and then we go on to level 8, which um, was probably the hardest one for me mentally. Especially when I had to bomb so many walls. Also, what did the uh, dungeon layout that you saw earlier in the video kind of look like a certain, you know, 1945 type thing? As we got killed the level 8 boss. And then the level 9 map or dungeon is actually a skull. A layout of a skull. As we, uh,. A little mental breakdown there for a second. Because some more was robes. I think that's what they would have been still called, or would have been called. Unless they changed that throughout the years. As you see there, there's a skull. Killing this guy real quick. And we're about to end this very quick and easy game. It's not too easy, but it's easy. It's not horrifically easy either. As we uh, tr go on to uh, try to defeat Ganon here, one of the actual 
cool bosses. They saved him for last, which is nice, where he's invisible until you hit him. Then we kill him. And then we go to save the princess. That would be Princess Zelda. And that would be it for Legend of Zelda number one.